Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronix with another tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you a very easy way to color grade your images in Photoshop. So if at all you are interested in learning how you can easily get the best and rich skin tones within the color grading process in Photoshop, this is a tutorial for you and before you can proceed I would like to request you guys to hit the like button on this video because I noticed so many of my videos get more of the views and less of the likes but remember when you hit the like button on a video it helps YouTube to push this video to more people out there who are not subscribed to this channel so that they can subscribe and also learn more content because we tend to create this content for you guys so that you can learn and if at all you wish that someone else can also learn from this process make sure to hit the like button on this video so that we can proceed and learn about the very nice and wonderful technique about color grading in Photoshop. So for this tutorial we're going to be using gradient maps to color grade images and have those nice professional and rich skin tones in most of our images. So if at all you don't have that kind of gradient map or the photographic toning option in your Photoshop this is a tutorial for you and I want to show you how you can easily find or locate that photographic toning option in your Photoshop. So Right now we are in Photoshop and what we want to do, the very first thing you have to do is having to locate or having to look for the photographic toning. So if I told you have an older version of Photoshop, you may simply come to the gradients and you can easily locate it under the gradient map right here and you scroll and you look for photographic toning. You can see right here, you can see if I told you don't have it in newer versions of Photoshop. I want to show you how you can first of all get it, but if I you have another version, you are going to be able to catch up later on in this tutorial. So if I told you don't have that photographic toning option in your gradients or other gradients, come to window, right here under window and come and make sure that your gradients is checked. So just come to window and come in, come to gradients, make sure it is checked and that is going to open for you this other window. My window is right here and yours may open up anywhere within your window of Photoshop. And after it is open, remember you may not be able to locate it if at all you don't have it in your gradients. So when this gradient window has opened, just come and click right here. I hope you can see where my cursor is. Just come and simply left click right there and you come down and you click on legacy gradients. So when you click on legacy gradients, it means that you're going to be able to locate your photographic toning and uh, you can see right now we have legacy gradients right in my gradients i hope you can see this it is just right down here but when you scroll within the legacy gradients you can see we have photographic toning so this is the option we're going to be using to color grade for this specific tutorial so right here after you have successfully located your photographic toning just come back to the adjustments and you come to gradient map. So when you come to gradient map, it is going to use any color. I don't mind about this color. So it is going to be using this color. But remember, we just want to add a specific color that is related, related or it looks close to skin tones. And that color, just come and click right down here. And you scroll all the way down to your legacy gradients. Simply left click to the drop down rather and you come all the way down to photographic toning and you click and drop down and under that you can see just going to increase this slightly you can see we have so many colors right here that are even closer to skin tone so for this case you can see the warmer colors are the ones that are close to skin tone but since i want very warm and rich colors within the skin tones of this model right here i'm just going to choose this color right here so simply left click on this gradient and simply hit ok and just close this so the image is going to turn out to look a little bit weird in color so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to the blending mode and simply drop down and scroll all the way down and look for soft light so when you come to soft light remember it is still affecting the overall image and it is a little bit too much for our liking so what we want to do we just want to eliminate the color grading and only restrict it within the mid-tones and the highlights for this particular case. 
And in order to do that, we're just going to first of all turn down the opacity slightly and we leave the opacity on a level that we really prefer. I'm just going to leave it at around 65. But remember, it is also affecting the shadows of this image. And if at all you feel like this is okay for you, you can just leave it the way it is. But if at all you want to refine your color grading better, just come and simply double click right here and it's going to open your layer style dialog box right here. So what we're going to be using, we're just going to be using a tool known as Blend If in this layer style dialog box. So in order to use this, just come and make sure the Blend If right here is gray. And now we look at the underlying layer. So remember, we just want to extract the color grading from the shadows of this image. And in order to do that, we are going to simply left click on these two triangles right here. Left click on them and drag them towards the right hand side. And as you are doing that, you can see it is eliminating the color grading from the shadow area. Just like that. And after doing that, we just want to refine it. You can see it creates this kind of little bit of artifacts within the image. So just come and simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard. And you can split them to have a refined or a more refined uh, selection and that looks fine for my liking just going to come down here and i'm just going to hit ok so you can see the before and after for just the color grading before after before after so if at all you feel like you would love to add more touch to your image we're just going to create one more gradient map adjustment layer by coming back to the adjustments and coming to gradient map and clicking down here and you're going to come back to our photographic toning. Remember, this is going to be for only photographic toning. So just click and drop down and look for, I feel like we should add a little bit of bluish feel within our shadow area. So just simply click on it and hit OK just like that and close that. And you're going to come and reduce on the opacity just a little bit and just come and close it and reduce it rather to around, just going to go with around 41. So we are still going to be using the blend if so that this can not affect our midtones and our highlights of the image. Remember, we just want to apply it within the shadow area. So just come and simply double click right there. Remember, we are removing it from the shadow area. We remember, we don't want it to be affected on the highlights or the midtones. So what we're going to do, we're just going to move this from the highlights of the image so just left click and drag it towards this side just like that i hope you can see this and now we are just going to be splitting this so that it can really be a little bit refined by holding down alternate and we split this just splitting it slightly don't mind about what it looks like and hit ok and Remember, we did not change the blend mode to soft light. We're just going to come and change it back to soft light. So if at all you feel like this is not okay, you can come back to uh, the blend if and double click. And you can make it a more refined color grading. Hold down, alternate, and you can split this a little bit further, depending on the look you're trying to go in for. And you're going to come and hit okay right there. So let's see what we have so far for the color grading of this image. Alternate. This is the before, after, before, after. I hope you can see how rich and more pronounced the skin tones are within this image. So I'm just going to put this two in a group by clicking on the control and clicking on both layers of the gradient map. Hit control command G on the keyboard and we can rename this to color grade just like that. And you're going to see the before, after, before, after. And if at all you feel it is a little bit intense or too much, just come and reduce on the opacity. Just like that. And this is the overall before, after, before, after, before, after. So basically this is how to easily color grade your images using the gradient map or the photographic toning option within the gradient map in Photoshop. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if I told you I've been watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep color grading and keep creating.